Hello, everyone, and welcome to this session of Guardians of CHSB number four. We are here today with Danny in a lot live session for the first time because I'll be moving about and for the best quality of the video possible. We're going to be doing it pre-recorded this time on the beautiful 1st of August, which is the national holiday here. So <laughs> hello, Danny. If we're <laughs> filming on a holiday, everything's going great. Yeah. Um, hello, everyone. So let's get started, I guess. Beautiful. So. Let's go. So how many answers we have um, today for this session? We have 7,300 answers, um, out of which we have 6,000 unique users. So we had quite a lot of uh, people who voted twice. But um, we can explain this because um, we change a bit the session each time. And for this time, we were asking before uh, for the mail. Now we are asking for the refer link. Uh, just because of security concern, uh, we don't want uh, your, all your emails to be uh, in the Typeform server. So each time you are trying to find another way to get um, to get that out of the way and to be as secure as possible. That way, in case of Typeform um, security issues, you won't be affected at all. So that maybe explain why we have uh, many people uh, that is voted twice, but. Um, yeah, we take into account only uh, one vote per users. Um, the snapshot was taken on the 31st of July at 4.17 CEST. I see that uh, the, the S is really <laughs> in bold, so it, I think it's a wink to our, our moderators, who has uh, told us many times now, but I hope it's in now. <laughs> uh, we have 170 users who had no opinion, but still voted. So. They will still be eligible for the reward, and uh, around 4,500 people eligible for the reward. Um, around uh, with that, we also have 241 standard users who tried their luck, but unfortunately, their vote, their vote won't be accounted uh, because it's the guardian of CHSB. Uh, by now, you should know it. Now, it's only for premium users. So, if you want to be Rewarded with CHSB, you need to uh, upgrade your account to premium. And the whooping 1,468 users with fewer than 250 CHSB. So yeah, that's also one of the limitations you have to hold at least uh, that number of CHSB for that session. But for the next one, it will be higher. Um, and also um, a nice zero user who didn't get found, so we found everyone who participated in the in this session, and um, that's a really good thing because if you participate, then you will be found. Uh, no more, um, yeah. We found yeah. you anyway. <laughs> we found everyone. I think that's a very nice number to have. It shows that we are starting to get to a very nice place where everyone can be reassured that we will find them. If they fill out the type form because if you don't well then it's <laughs> slightly more yeah difficult. we can do everything <laughs> the pot's current status so um this month we're seeing two quite big updates and i've written a blog article that should be out by the time you see this video uh, explaining these updates more in details but basically the first one is that the inflow of the pot is changing so from 20 percent static revenue, we're going to be switching to something that's more progressive and that's dependent on Swissborg's current financial situation. So we'll be providing less inflow into that pot when the company is at a financial loss and more when the company is at a financial gain. Because quite obviously, uh, if Swissborg is currently not covering its costs, um, it's not su a super smart business decision to throw 20% of the revenue into the Guardians of CHSB, it's probably better to keep the company afloat because there is no Guardians if there is no Swissborg. So what have we? What do we have here, Danny? Um, so as a result, we have 26% for the reward and the safety net, so pretty close, 26.73 uh, for the reward and 26.44 for the safety net, which we see more people are concerned about the security and are putting more into the safety net, if I remember. Uh, we had mm -hmm. way less in the last session. Yeah. A 30, almost 35% for the burn, which represents 230,000 uh, 230, CHSB to be burned. And also our next, uh, our first option, which represents 
an extra burn, uh, about 12%. So what we're going to do with that, we're going to use the burn pot to burn the usual 150k CHSB, and we'll adding to that the number in the extra burn pot. That's right, Renji. Exactly. So we're going to be burning more this month. So the current safety net is worth 653,000 CHSB, and this is not that huge of an amount when we're considering that CHSB is at a low price. But as mentioned, I show that all of you understand by now. Um, first off, there's a error in the slide. Uh, yeah. and, secondly, <laughs> <laughs> and secondly, this amount obviously goes up in dollars with CHSB as well. So if the, CH if the price of CHSB increases, that also means that, first of all, your bags increase because all of you are holding CHSB. But secondly, the safety net, uh, the premium safety net increases as well, which is also a nice to have to be able to tell yourself, well, if my bags are going up, that also means that my extra security is going up. So it's a nice correlation to have. Secondly, the burn. So we're going to be burning 150K plus 78, as Danny was explaining. And uh, you'll be seeing a Twitter tweet as soon as we do that. Or I don't know if it's called an X now, but you'll be seeing a publication from our handle regarding this um, before the video goes live, I guess. And we also have 321,938.96 CHSB that will be burnt. So these are in the pool and will be burnt as we don't reach the 150Ks every month. And then we have rewarded everyone that has participated and is eligible to the reward with 176,440.92 uh, CHSB. So if you are eligible, if you have voted, you will have received a share of this that is calculated using your reward slash voicing power. So the voicing power is the same as usual, but the next time we have a, ni a nice change that should be um, implemented, if all goes well, and we'll be bringing the hero score. So this is also detailed in the article. You can check it out uh, at the end of the video. So you have a good read to do if you want to read up about the guns that CHSB and how you can maximize your rewards out of it. Uh, but in the meantime, it's quite easy to calculate it. You do your amount of CHSB times the premium boost that you see at the top right of the slide, and you multiply it by the rewards by the reward rate, which this time is slightly lower than last time at least. And I think with that, we're coming up to the end-ish of the session. So Danny, what do we do now? So we are going to open, uh, by now, as you should know the drill, but for the one who are new here, we'll, the Guadalupe CHSV is, um, have many phases. And the first one is the opening of the project submission. So if you go to the link or uh, just type the link that you see down below, you will enter a new type form where you can submit your uh, idea to be selected later by the community leaders um, as the fourth option for the next guardian of CHSB. So scan the link if you haven't already. And for example, you will be able to submit everything that comes to your mind, but it will be um, then picked by uh, us employees and voted by the community leaders to see what, which one should be fit for the community to vote on. So as always, always the three option, reward, safety net, burn, and then this fourth option that you can see here. We go to the next sense. slide. Have the different dates. So this type form that you will uh, you see just on the previous slide will open on the 8th of August and will be open till uh, the 15th of August. So that's the time you have to think about an initiative and submit it through the type form. On the 20th of August, um, we have the moderator speak. Um, there will be more than moderators, actually. It's moderators, committee hosts, and committee leaders who will uh, choose which one uh, should appear at the first option. 21, uh, 21st of August, session open, so it will be the vote as usual. Um, we won't share a link because we'll send it by email and in notification in the app. So because that way we have like each link cannot be copied, so you cannot vote for anyone else. So if you vote through the mail that we sent you and uh, or the link in the notification center that you have received in the app, 
you will be able to vote without giving your um, ID or, or anything because we have metadata on it. So we know who you are and uh, you don't have to give us anything which will be more secure for everyone. And um, this form closed on the 3rd of September. And the following week, we'll uh, work again uh, for the snapshot and compute the results. And again, uh, we will do another town hall. Great. So stay tuned onto our social media and particularly on our Discord for the link of the Slido or the type form um, as it will open. Actually, we could probably put the link in the description and have it open now, couldn't we? So that if anyone has uh, any ideas, easier. yeah. So let's do this. Instead of the eighth, like we would usually do, uh, we're going to be opening it ahead so that you can click in the description if you have a good idea and just write it down. And that way you don't have to wait to do it. Um, I think that makes it easier and we'll be communicating it that way. Um, and with that said, I think it's all clear. Uh, remember to go have a read at the article and uh, we hope to see you next time. Thank you very much. Thank you, bye.